Hi, welcome to this Excel video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to switch on and off condition formatting using the Lambda function. Therefore, let's get started. In our sample data set, we have the sys record, which is officially formatted as an Excel table, and we have the table design contextual ribbon tab and a descriptive sales table name has been given. Now, our goal is to ultimately create a drop down in cell K4, write a formula that's going to give us the total sales amount based on the selected customer category in cell K4, and then use the lambda function to create a custom function to apply condition formatting to the main data set. So let's see how to do this. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is to extract all the unique customer category in column B, E rather. I'm going to do that using the sort and unique dynamic arrays. So let's come to cell O4 equals on sort unique. Now, because this data is officially stored in an Excel table, I can look for this black pointed arrow, close the two parentheses and control enter. Boom! We have all the four customer category. Now let's just create a name range. Now this is not compulsory. Okay, so I select the four values, come to the name box, and let's call this one sample. Okay, hit the enter. So when I check this name box and I choose this sample, it refers to this range. Okay, now let's create our drop down in cell K4. Come to the data tab. Under the data tools group, click on data validation, and we want a list. And in the source box, now because our value is stored inside the name range, I'm going to press F3 to bring out the paste name dialog box so I can see all the names. Now we have a single one which is simple. So I click on that and click on OK. All right, there we can do Alt down arrow key to select any of the customer category we want. Let's choose platinum. Now in cell ML4, I'm going to write under formula using the filter function. So let's see, filter. Now the filter requires an array, okay? And our array is the sys amount that we want to return based on the criteria that is this many side of the customer category that is equal to the unique customer category in cell K4. Now, I don't need to load the K4 because the result is going to spill to the neighboring cells below. Close the parentheses, control, enter. Cool. Now, we need to aggregate all this using the sum function, F2, to open the formula. And then we carefully type in the sum. And then we close the bracket for the sum function, control, enter. Control shift for to apply the currency that is in your original settings. Okay, so the total sales amount for customer category platinum is for 59 million nine five five thousand five zero five. I can choose another customer category, let's choose bronze or gold. Now, for the gold, we have 462 million plus. Now, that is one of the things we want to do. The next is to create involvement. Now to do that, come to the developer tab of the ribbon and under the controls, click on insert and we have this spin button here. So I'm going to click on it and just carefully place one here. Okay. All right. Now this pin button is not working because we have not linked anything to it. Now I'm going to right click and choose format control. Now in the format control, under the control tab, we want to set the current value to one and the minimum value is going to be one and the max is going to be two. And we want to link this control, this spin button to, let's link it to cell M1 and let's click on OK. All right. All right. Now, when I check this box now, it's going to give me two. When I click on the bottom, it's going to give me one. Now, Next, what I'm going to do is to use the if function that's going to give me either on or off. Now, for one, I want to return on. For two, I want to return off. 
So let's do that in cell L1 equals sign. Type the if function. Now the if function requires the logical test. So the logical test is going to be the value in cell M1, comma. So I'm going to say if the value in M1 equals to 1, comma, what do I want to return for the value? If true, give me on, close the text, comma. And for the value, if false, one or the turn off. Now this has to be inside double quotes because these are expressions. Okay, close the if formula. Control enter. Now because we have to select it currently, it gave us off. Now when I check this box, it gave us one. Now let's do something similar. Now in cell K1 and K2, I want on and off to be displayed respectively okay so it is either you give me on or give me nothing and in k2 it is either the formula return off or nothing so to do that i'm going to write another if function if formula equal sign if so i'm going to say again the logical test if the value inside m1 equals one comma i want inside double quote on to be given or to be returned comma Otherwise, I want nothing. Close parenthesis, control enter. Now, because one is being displayed, it's give me on. Now, when I check this, now it's gonna give me off. So let's do the inverse of that equal sign. If the value in cell M1 equals to two, please give me off. Close the double quote, comma, or give me nothing. Close the if. Control enter. Now it gave us off. So we have on and off. On and off. Now let's just apply some little formatting here. So for this on, let's come to the home tab. Under the condition of formatting, you want to apply highlight cell rules. I want to use text that contains. Now for the text, I'm going to put it on here. So press tab key. Now I want a custom format. Now in this custom format, I want to use fill. Let's use you know green fill, and let's use white font. Okay, and let's even apply bold. And okay, finally click on okay. So for all the on, it's going to give me this green text as white, the font color. Now let's do the same thing here. I want to read here. So click on conditional formatting. I like the rules, text that contain off and we want to select alt down arrow key custom format let's select in this case also for the font color let's use white and let's apply bold and for the fill color let's use pronounce red color okay and okay now let's see so can you see it is working all right that's pretty fine now let's write our lambda function so let me just create some additional columns here now let's come to cell n to equal sign lambda now the lambda function as we know create a function value which can be called within formulas press the tab key now i need two parameters okay i'm going to say my cf and let's choose you know C as the second parameter. So I'm going to put in a comma. Now I'm going to write my formula and deploy the AND logical function. So press the AND. Now the first logical formula is I'm going to check this value here. Now is it equals to the selected unique value in cell K4? Now I need to lock the K4 because I want it to be absolute, not relative. So Press F4 key once. Now, this is what's called a structured reference nomenclature, okay, because this data is already in an Excel table. Now, comma, and I want to check this value in cell L1. So I'm going to apply F4 key to lock it. Comma, is it equals to on? Okay, the two conditions must be satisfied. So inside double quote on, close the double quote and then we can close the and and close the lambda okay now i can actually just pass this my parameters into my formula okay so i'm just going to replace all this i'm going to replace that with 
my CF and then I'm going to replace this L1. Let's replace it with C. Okay, now when I do control enter, I'm going to get the calc error because we can actually, you know, get the result for lambda function without having to open another parenthesis and give the value that we specified inside the formula. So we need to call this lambda function to be able to use it in this worksheet. So F2 to open the formula, open parenthesis. Now, in this case, I need to give this cell E2, comma, and also I'm going to give this L1. And I'm going to make this to be absolute, F4 key, close, control, enter, boom. It returned false. Okay, because of course, let's just put this one to be on for, for, for now. Okay, now let's choose platinum. Now, the moment we choose platinum, the two criteria were satisfied. This one return on, and this one also return in you know, a platinum. Okay, we can actually copy the formula down. So, our formula is working. So, you can see we have platinum here in row number four, and that return turned true so everything is looking good now what i'm going to do is to create my custom function with my lambda formula so i'm going to come to the first result and just copy this section of the formula Control c escape then come to the formulas tab under the defined names click on name manager and i want to create a new name okay so let's just call it one my conditional formatting okay then i'm going to paste the formula inside this box and that is all i need to do click ok and our formula custom function has been created okay so close the name manager box and let's try it out a equals sign so I'm going to call my conditional formatting. So this is the custom function. Press the tab key, open parenthesis. Now I need to give the criteria, the value in the order that I specified inside my lambda. Okay. So I'm going to give this value in cell E2, comma, and then the value in cell L1. Close, apply F4 to make it absolute. Close the formula, control enter, and it's return exactly what we had here so it's really working now let's apply the conditional formatting to our data set so select the entire data set and come to the home tab under the styles click on conditional formatting new rule and we want to use a formula to determine which cells to format okay now inside the format values where this formula is true i'm going to press once again F3 to bring the paste name dialog box and we have two you know names so we can click on the first one which is the my condition of formatting. Now I need to open the parenthesis but for whatever reason which I don't understand the open parenthesis is not working. Now what I discovered is that you need to specify or set your format first before the open parenthesis works. So click on format and let's apply you know the color we want let's choose this um, nice fill color and let's choose okay okay now we can actually open the parenthesis now and it's going to work okay let's now give the criteria which is select this value in e2 now this is coming as an absolute cell reference but i need it to be a mixed cell reference in other words i want to lock column e only not row number th two so i'm going to press f4 key one two so we have the dollar sign locking the column e so the row two is relative so comma and for the second criteria i want to give the value in cell l one okay so this has to be absolute because we want it to remain on the same cell l1 close parenthesis now let's just apply you know white or font color so click on font and let's choose bold and let's choose white okay and let's click on okay bam it's working okay 
So we can see that for all the customer category that are platinum, all the rows were highlighted. Okay, that's pretty fine. And let's choose another one customer category. Let's choose, you know, bronze for instance. Everything is formatted nicely. And let's turn off the conditional formatting. Bam, it's working. Let's choose another one, another customer category. Alt down, okay. Let's choose silver and turn on the condition of formatting. It's working pretty fine, and the formula here is really working. So, this is essentially how you can use the lambda function to switch on and off condition of formatting. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, subscribe to this channel, comment, share, and like. Thank you, bye for now. Cheers.